Albert was so excited about the whole thing. You know, he'd be sitting there trying to peek through little broken little bit of mesh through the fence to see what was going on, you know, because he wasn't allowed in yet. I know it sounds really like I'm making this up, but it's not. It's an amazing place to be a part of, honestly. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> Oh, it's just, it's just a nice place to work. It's a beautiful place to work and everyone's just happy and friendly and yeah, it's, you actually are excited to come to work. I have seen it grow from a very small building um, into flourishing into this. Yeah, it's been a great opportunity. Um, to be involved in that transition as well. Um, watching, as I said, such a small service develop into something so much bigger. We have far more demand than our capacity can provide. So um, it was evidence that our waiting list was growing, was not reduced. It was evidence that we um, have had trouble even dealing with acute care and emergency, um, that the population is growing, and it was evidence that if we, if without, without such substantial um, improvement in capacity, we will not be able to provide what the community is expecting. I mean, they started from, a, I think it was a nine chair clinic to a 32 or a 36 chair clinic now. And as you can see yourself, I mean, you walk around, everything is brand new and you've got the people to match it as well. So it's amazing. You know, coming, I was a student at Westmead and Sydney Dental Hospital. And obviously there are older clinics um, and they can't compare. <laughs> Um, staff that are coming to train to become oral surgeons that come in on a Thursday and they see clients in those two purpose-built rooms for that reason. Um, it's more of a sterile area. Treatment is done under a more sterile procedure. Oh, it's exceptional. It gives us a uh, you know, nice new facility. It gives the patients um, an ability to be seen earlier than they may have been able to and gets them off the wait list, if, especially if they're in pain. So it seems to be a good situation all around. I'm sure it's difficult in some of the older buildings adapting them for things that we need now, but this is good. I think they've at least planned, um, they've made it uh, you know, plug and play, I suppose, so we can kind of adapt to what we need. We, we had us putting in, we're going from a nine surgery unit to a 32 surgery unit, um, which expanded a lot more for more work for the prosthetists, uh, surgeries each, and we had our own lab supplied where we were going to get technicians in here to do all the work in house so we didn't have to send it out and have it made outside, which is a cost saving venue and it, it works better. And the new premises, brand new premises, was was on the on the project, um, coming in here and being part of something that was new and, and one of the founding people in the laboratory. I thought it was great, really exciting. Yes, I love it. I think the most important part was to comply with the sterilisation guidelines as well, the infection control guidelines, um, to make sure that we had a specific, dirty, clean, sterile area. 
um, resin for the three different rooms here. Um, yeah, and basically just putting it all together so it flowed properly. Um, so we had a really good, you know, flow when things come in from outside into the dirty area that it flowed well through the three different sections. The environment to work here is just great. We've got happy people. Um, all our staff are happy. There doesn't seem to be any problems anywhere at the moment. So yeah, we're going really well actually. I'm quite surprised that we've transitioned from such a small clinic to such a large one with hardly any problems. We, had, we do have a regular client base here and they were amazed at the transition. Um, often laugh about the walking distance down our main corridor, um, which we'd have a little chuckle about. But at the end of the day, there's been no negativity. Um, everything has been positive. And I think, as I said, we are very lucky, very blessed. A good, clean, um, obviously because it's brand new, it looks great, you know. Um, but yeah, I just, from my other experiences, this has topped it. I'm very proud of it. I feel like um, we've done a good job here and the challenge is actually not just to build this fantastic facility, is to achieve the full potential out of it. So actually reduce the waiting list, see more patients and do more service to the community. And this is an ongoing challenge.